Starting a Business in Europe as a Foreigner, a Guide for 18 Countries Part 1. Here you will find how to start a business in Europe, how much you need, and what are the pros and cons. Everything coming from someone with first-hand experience. But before starting the ranking, remember to subscribe to our channel, and like this video so YouTube shows you our content. This is a quick guide for anyone thinking about starting a business in Europe as a foreigner, wrote by a person that has done it before. I will post it in two parts. The information below is either from my own experience or collected from reliable sources in 2021. However, this article is not legal or investment advice. Before starting a business, it is recommended that you do plenty of research. The order of the countries below does not obey any criteria, except the first, which is the place where I started my initial business. Starting a business in Poland as a foreigner. The Polish economy experienced nearly three decades of uninterrupted growth, the sequence finished in 2020, with the coronavirus crisis. That made the country soar from one of the poorest in Europe in the 90s to one of the most promising new joiners in the European Union. The Polish capital, Warsaw, has an average income comparable to Berlin. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 40th. Minimum investment, there is not a specified minimum investment, but since the visa approval is highly subjective, it is recommended that the entrepreneur has at least 100 000 lotties, nearly 22 euros, in the bank account or creates two full-time jobs for locals. If both, even better. Other specifications. 1. To renew the visa after one year, either the company must be profitable or hired two Polish citizens as full-time employees for at least six months. 2. The entrepreneur must submit a well-researched business plan to the immigration authorities. 2. Some consultants can help with the business plan if you are willing to invest in Poland. Pros of opening a business in Poland 1. Easy access to the European market. 2. Resilient economy. 3. Low minimal investments, among the lowest in the entire European Union. 4. If you have Polish ancestry, your life will get much easier if you apply for a Carta Polaka. Cons of opening a business in Poland. 1. The entire process can take more than six months. 2. If you plan to invest in Warsaw, be aware that the Polish capital can be twice more expensive than other major cities in the country. Starting a business in Ireland. The Ireland SEP has the mission of facilitating the creation of startups in Irish territory. The candidates for the SEP can apply for a two-year residency, with the possibility to renew for other three. Family members can be included in the visa. Program name, there are currently two parallel programs for investor visas, one is the Immigrant Investor Program, and the other is the Startup Entrepreneur Program, SEP. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index colon 24 th Minimum investment, minimum of €50,000 per founder to fulfill visa requirements for the first entrepreneur. €30,000 for each additional founder visa. Other specifications. The startup headquarters must be based in Ireland. The startup must be less than five years old if the applicant is already based in Ireland. Pros of opening a business in Ireland. 1. Brexit is bringing more business opportunities to Ireland. 2. Business-friendly tax system. 3. One of the lowest corporate tax rates of entire Europe, 12.5%. Cons? 1. Relatively high costs, 
even when compared to other European economies. 2. Small internal market. How to open a business in the United Kingdom. The UK startup visa grants successful applicants a residency of three years and four months. It can be extended for additional two years. Program name, the UK Startup Visa, before called, Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 8th. Minimum investment, between £50,000 to £200,000, should be available for investment in a bank account. Plus, the participants must prove they have enough funds to pay their own expenses for at least three months. Other specifications 1. The visas are awarded on a points-based system, and successful applicants must score full 95-95 points. 2. There should be a letter of recommendation from recognized institutions listed by the government. 3. There are minimum English idiom requirements, and the applicant must present a criminal record certificate. 4. For certain nationalities, it is also required the negative result of a tuberculosis test. Pros of opening a business in the UK 1. No need to handle documents in difficult languages. 2. Friendly environment to new businesses. Cons 1. Strict requirements for an entrepreneur visa. 2. High costs compared to other European countries. How to open a business in Estonia. For a few years already, Estonia has a policy of attracting startups and a buoyant environment for entrepreneurs. Most of them are under the umbrella of the Estonia Startup Visa. The effort resulted in this tiny Baltic country having the highest number of startups per capita in the EU. The government also pioneered solutions for digital nomads by creating the EU residency. It allows businesses to be based in the country but managed by remote entrepreneurs. Program name, Estonia Startup Visa. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 18. Minimum investment, there are no minimum investments for the business itself, but the applicant should present the resources necessary to execute a business plan of an innovative and scalable enterprise. Plus, he or she needs to have at least €130 Euros per month intended to live in Estonia. Other specifications 1. The applicant should receive approval from the startup committee. 2. The applicant should show evidence of securing accommodation for the stay and intent to leave, i.e., a departing plane ticket. 3. There should be a valid insurance policy for the Estonia or Schengen area with at least €30,000 coverage. Pros of opening a business in Estonia 1. There are no taxes on retained or reinvested profits. 2. It is very easy to open business bank accounts. 3. Government facilitates entrepreneurial activity. 4. Nearly every procedure can be solved online. Cons 1. For brick and mortar businesses, the cultural differences and the language barrier can become an obstacle. How to open a business in Italy The Italy Startup Visa has financial tools for any business that requires research and development funding. It requires, however, that the candidates present proof of their personal or their team, academic backgrounds. Program name, Italy Startup Visa. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 58th. Minimum investment, €50,000 per visa applicant. Other specifications. 1. 
The candidate must submit the documents online and be approved by the Startup Visa Technical Committee. 2. The company should not have more than 5 years. 2. Another requirement is a turnover smaller than 5 million euros. 2. No profits should be distributed in the history of the company. 3. A minimum of 15% of the costs must be random. 3. At least a third of the team must have PhDs, or two-thirds a master's degree. 4. The firm must already have intellectual property, intend to establish headquarters in Italy, and subject to tax contributions. Pros of opening a business in Italy 1. Financing lines for businesses that are involved in research and development. 2. Incentives for science-related firms. Cons? 1. Strict requirements of academic backgrounds and company history. 2. Italy has a complicated bureaucracy for European standards. How to open a business in France? The French government created two parallel programs intended to attract technology startups. One is the French Tech Ticket, and the other is the French Tech Visa. The former was created to help tech startup founders, employees, and investors to live and work in France. It is valid for four years, can be renewed, and can be also extended to immediate family. Program name, French Tech Ticket, French Tech Visa. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 32nd. Minimum investment, for the French Tech Visa, the minimum capital invested must be equal to a French annual minimum wage, currently 18,655 euros. Other specifications, also for the French Tech Visa. The candidate must be selected by one or more French Tech Visa partner incubators by the selection process. The candidate must present an economic innovation plan for the company in France. Entrepreneurs need to be approved by the directorate. Pros of opening a business in France. 1. Smaller capital requirements. 2. Access to incubators and accelerators. Cons? 1. Not among the easiest countries in Europe to do business. 2. The selection process can be competitive. How to open a business in the Netherlands? The candidates approved in the Dutch Startup Programme are sent to Startup Delta. It is a partnership between the government, incubators, investment groups, and enterprises. Entrepreneurs have access to mentorship and guidance in their ventures in the Netherlands. Programme name, Netherlands Entrepreneur Visa. Ranking at the Ease at Doing Business Index, 42nd. Minimum investment, the candidate must prove to have at least 13,000 euros to support his own expenses. Other specifications. 1. The candidate needs to present an idea considered innovative by the program committee. Pros of opening a business in the Netherlands. 1. Access to experienced entrepreneurs that will act as mentors and guides. 1. 2. Relatively small initial investment. Cons? 1. Competitive selection process. How to open a business in Denmark. Differently from many other entrepreneur visa programs in Europe, Denmark does not target projects to build large companies with millions invested but also benefits self-employed, non-EU people who present innovative and scalable ideas. On top of that, it provides access to angel investors, accelerators, and the Danish Growth Fund. Program name, Denmark Startup Visa. 
Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 4th. Minimum investment, between 137,000 and 76 Danish kroner and 319,236 Danish kroner in savings for the entrepreneur's own expenses, plus the amount needed to execute the business plan. Other specifications. 1. The candidate must present a comprehensive business plan, conduct a presentation, and a pitch deck. 1. The presentation and the pitch must show that the candidate will have an active role in the business. 2. The candidate must be proficient in English. 3. The candidate's idea must have the approval of a panel from the startup Denmark. 4. The candidate must be evaluated by the Danish Agency for International Recruitment and Integration. Pros of opening a business in Denmark 1. One of the easiest countries in the world to do business. 2. Easier access to investors and financing lines. Cons 1. Due to the attractiveness, it is competitive, and ideas not good enough may stand no chance. How to open a business in Portugal Certain regions in Portugal, like Algarve, Lisbon, and Porto, are already hotspots for the digital nomad community. Now the government also developed initiatives intended to attract other tech entrepreneurs. Program name, on the spot firm. Ranking at the Ease of Doing Business Index, 39th. Specifications 1. Candidates are distributed across five categories, innovation, scalability, market potential, management capacity, and job creation. 2. The focus must be on technology. 3. The company's business plan must show the potential to generate at least €325,000 per year of turnover. Pros of opening a business in Portugal 1. While Portuguese bureaucracy has a relatively complicated amount of paperwork, the on-the-spot firm program simplified what is needed to establish a business. 2. Climate, quality of life, and smaller living costs, for European standards, make it easier to attract and employ talents. Cons 1. Portugal has one of the highest corporate rates in Europe. 1. A whooping 31.5%. These are the 9 countries for today. In the part 2, you will find the details of other 9, including Germany, Belgium, Sweden, and Spain. What more would you like to know about starting a business in Europe as a foreigner? Let me know in the comments section.